Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how easy it is to add personalization to your WordPress website with Logic Hop. You'll see on the Logic Hop homepage, we have a section that has dynamic content that's personalized for the user when they come to the site. What I have right now is this content without the personalization, and I want to go ahead and show you how I'll add the personalization using Logic Hop. You'll see here in my WordPress editor, I have the content and I have some placeholders that I'm going to swap out with Logic Hop logic tags. So I'm gonna select region name and in the Logic Hop data palette, I'm going to choose the variable and I'm gonna select location.region name. That'll give us things like the state. And then I wanna come here and I have one that's gonna showcase the lead score. That is a score based on user activity on the site. So I'm also gonna go ahead into the data palette and I'm gonna scroll down and just select lead score and then go ahead and click insert variable. And I have some copy here that says the user came as a direct visit or were referred here from source. So now these are two different statements that I wanna show depending on whether the user came here directly or if they were referred here from another site. So what I can do is just select this section, came here as a direct visit, and go ahead in my logic hop conditions and say if, and I also wanna choose an if else, and choose the condition if the user is visiting the site directly and has no refer. So I'm gonna insert that conditional logic. And basically what that's going to say is if it's a direct visit, came here as a direct visit, else. And then I just wanna grab this little bit of content here and I wanna paste it in. So I'm gonna replace this else content with that. Now you'll see I also have another variable here where I wanna show the source of where the user came from. So let me go ahead and go back to the Logic Hub data palette and I'm gonna come in here and I'm also gonna go ahead and put in source. And that is how the user got to the site that they were referred here. So you'll see that with our Logic Hop editor, we've got these nice green boxes which let us know where our variables are and where our if statements start. This one starts here and then where our else statement begins and then where our if statement ends. The other cool thing we can do is we can set our own special conditions. So we can say, most important, you have viewed the Logic Hop plans. Well, what we have in our conditions is if, we wanna use that if else, and the condition is a custom condition, which we say the get started page has been viewed. So I wanna go ahead and put that in there. So it says, if you viewed the get started page, we're going to show that you've, you have viewed the Logic Hop plans. And then we're gonna put this in the else. So I'm gonna replace this else content with most important, you haven't yet viewed the Logic Hop plans. So let me go ahead and save this and let's take a look at this in action. Now, before I actually save this, I went ahead and I added some styling to it so you can actually see the content really clearly. So I'm gonna reload. And when I come to this section, you'll see you're located in Florida came here as a direct visit, and based on your action so far, you have been assigned a lead score of one. Most important, you haven't yet viewed the Logic Hop plans. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click Logic Hop plans, and this is when the user would have viewed the Logic Hop get started page. So now that I've viewed that page, if I go back to the home page, and we scroll down here and take a look and see, You'll see, most important, you have viewed the Logic Hop plans. So we can use these conditional statements to personalize the content based on how the user came to the site, actions they've taken on the site, lead scores that are assigned to people, and goals that they've achieved. It's a really powerful way to add personalization to your site, and you can do it quickly and easily with Logic Hop. 